Hey everyone, I'm Kathy Vertilli from the intimacydojo.com and this is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. Reed, I don't consider myself a good flirt. What can I do to be a better flirt? Drink coffee? Does it help? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna scare them away. Oh no. <laughs> <You're riveted. laughs> so you have an article on speed flirting. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're so funny. Alright, speed flirting. <laughs> Don't be a jackass like Reed. You'll have much better luck. <laughs> um okay, so the, the speed flirting was a workshop that I created to just give people permission mm -hmm. to be playful and interactive with people. Mm -hmm and invite them to be playful back. Mm -hmm. So my definition, first off, about flirting is that it's not this big, heavy, romantic thing, and it doesn't even have to, it doesn't even have to lead anywhere. So I don't have to learn to bat my lashes and look up at you. I mean, you can, and... but I would only use that as a total dork, cheese ball way of flirting. Yeah, those, those books have never felt right to me. They always felt very manipulative. But uh, body language is, is a weird, fuzzy area to try to get into. Um, and I'm a big geek on on uh, geek on clarity of communication mm -hmm. because one I if I misread your mind mm -hmm. oh my god you know I could totally screw things up mm -hmm. but the the idea that what I'm actually doing with flirting is creating an interaction that's playful mm -hmm. and inviting you to play back and mean authentic. And, Rather and than be, pretending to be a certain way, yeah, like counting how long you look down. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, I mean, there's certainly a way to do that. Yeah. But you have to recognize what you're doing is you're playing, and people make flirting way too serious, yeah. which is not playful. So there's no flirt. It's like you're going right for like the the seduction <laughs> thing, and it, it's not it's not playful. It can be really confronting, mm -hmm. and and so what I invite people to do actually, which is really kind of dorky, is be really upfront with people and be like, do you mind if I flirt with you? <laughs> and most people are like, what? <laughs> and you're like, I would, I would like to flirt with you. May I flirt with you? And, and you're invited to flirt with me back. Maybe, maybe we can try that for the next two minutes. How would that sound? Wow. So what about people that aren't quite ready to... I mean, it's a great idea, but for those of us that aren't quite ready to walk up to someone and ask if they can flirt... I, I mean, now all of a sudden you're like, from, from the back of the room, you're just kind of like... Which just looks like something's wrong with your face. Right. But you can be playful. You don't have you to actually shy. specify that you're going to flirt with them and you can still be playful with them. Yeah, but I'm like, no, I mean, this is my radical weird advice. Being playful, even if like, if, if you and I, you're like in the beginning of, the, of this, right? I'm mm -hmm. being playful. Right. You know that I'm being playful. Yes. And then if I feel like you had this weird reaction... Like I was ready to like, run out the door. I could say, hey, I'm being playful. <laughs> you know, now that sounds really confronting, but, but the piece there is you just need to work on your anxiety around breaking the ice. Mm -hmm. People are either going to want to play or not. Mm -hmm. Some people won't know what to do because no one's ever invited them to play. Yeah. Or they have weird baggage around flirting. Like, what's it supposed to be? In which case you're, and you're saying... you're not a good person if you can't flirt. Like, you're not a, a sexy person. Yeah, and just take the whole, like, performance piece of flirting and throw it out the door, please. That's like giving a bunch of kids, you know, toys and saying, you know, you're not allowed to play bad. Like, you, all of our American anxiety and just cultural, like, overachievingness mm -hmm. has seeped into flirting, which is why it's... No one's having... No one's doing it because no one's having fun. So make it fun... Ask people if they would like to play. Mm -hmm. If you see them, like if, if you don't want to be like me and say, hey, may I flirt with you? Um, and I do that mostly because I'm so energetic. I'm, you know, I'm the golden retriever on espresso. I don't want people to freak out that this big golden retriever <laughs> is <laughs> bounding towards them. <laughs> Licking their face. Yeah, so I warn them. I'm like, hey, you know, I'm feeling flirty. Would you like to flirt with me? For, for those of you who, who don't have to worry about the big you know, golden retriever thing, um, initiate being playful, mm -hmm. give them good cues to be playful back. Yes. If they don't get it, mm 
-hmm. immediately say, hey, I'm being playful, flirt back with me. Yeah. Um, if they still don't get it, that's your answer yeah. that, that you shouldn't be flirting with them because they, they, they didn't get it quick enough. So you can go play with someone else. Yeah. It's like, imagine you're, you're, imagine flirting is like, mm -hmm. like Frisbee. Mm -hmm. You're in the park, you, you know, you have a Frisbee, you, you wave your Frisbee at somebody, you know, who's like 30 yards away, they stop, and you're like, <laughs> and, they're, and they're like, <laughs> you don't just whip it at their head. No, no. But if they're like, you know, then you, you, you start off, ten, you know, tentatively, and then if they pl throw it back, and then you start playing. Right. Flirting is so much like that, mm -hmm. but we make it this live or die thing. Yeah. If I'm bad at it, I'm just a horrible person. I should live in a cage. Yeah. Somewhere. And most people like to be invited to play. Most people want to be more outgoing than they are. And can you give us, you said that you give them cues to know how to, that you're playing and how to play back. What yeah. kind of cues do you give them? <laughs> like, it just, you can be like, you can be like, hi. You can be like, <laughs> Although that can just look weird. Um, mostly, it's it's like it's vocal intonation. It's 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 a conscious use of body language. The the unconscious is always going to be going on. So you could be like totally, you know, into somebody and just be like, and like and be embarrassed, and then like, and that's you know, like you're always going to have that going on. Mm -hmm. um, but what you you know you can be very. With your with your voice, yes. be very inviting. Mm -hmm. You know how you elongate words, yeah. um, make sounds. Um, if you feel embarrassed or dorky, mm -hmm. immediately cop to him. Be like, I feel really embarrassed and dorky, and I still want to play with you. Yeah. You know, or if you feel anxious, like if things really start to get heated, like you actually make a, like a connection, and and somebody's like, all right. What do you got? And you're like, ooh, the tinglies. I'm feeling the tinglies. You know, breathe. Breathe in the ang that anxious rush because that's fun. Like, it's the bicycles going too fast, but exciting fun. Yes. And then just reinvite them and be like, wow, I'm feeling really kind of anxious. Um, we're going to shoot another video right after this, and I'm going to teach you a game called Innuendo. And that's going to be the game, but it's like, we're almost at seven and a half minutes. Yeah. So, so to look for innuendo. Come back. <laughs>